My favourite typeface I would always go for would be Avenir Next. It's lightweight, great copy type, just no frills about it. It'll work. Job done. Um, I'm in between fonts at the moment, but I'd, I'd, I've got to say Gotham and I'm, I quite like Mo Montserrat. But if it was between the two, I think I'd, I think I'd probably pick Gotham. It's just very, very usable in the work that I'm doing. Uh, there's something about buttermilk typeface. It kind of reminds me of the uh, K in Kellogg's or the Coca-Cola branding. I think it's quite nice. Uh, of the many that I do have, I would have to say Accident's Grotesque because of its bold contemporary form. Yeah. And I do like Gotham because it's my go-to. Yeah. Um, probably Gil Sands. I think it's a pretty uh, foolproof sans serif face. Uh, I like the way it was used by um, Penguin Books as well. I really love the, uh, the old orange 1930s Penguin Books. I truly love Baskerville. It's a serif font with an old feel, but it's subtle. It's like paprika. It's never the star of the show, but it's a wonderful touch. My favourite typeface is American Typewriter. Because it smells like poo poo. This is serious. Somebody's asked me about typefaces. Don't ask me why, but I just do. <coughs> hey, stop it. Packing case stencil from the 1960s. It was originally used on tea chests. It's very tactile. You get hold of it, you line it up with the ruler, and then you crane in the uh, gaps. It looks fantastic. It feels very organic. I like Baskerville. Um, I like the way the G's curve. I like Maria Pro because I'm a standard kind of guy. I like Helvetica because it's a safe option and you can't really go wrong. Okay, so I have a weird obsession with ampersands. I don't know why, I've just always liked them. The way they look, the way they are styled in different fonts, I find it interesting. They can make things more modern or more vintage, just with one little symbol. So, I like them. I like American Typewriter because it was legible on film when we used to shoot on film uh, as a title on the end of a commercial. It didn't break up. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of exuberantly bold display type like Stiller. I think it was uh, originally designed for a, a typeface uh, competition organised by Electroset in the uh, in the early 70s. Herb Lubelin was uh, one of the judges at the time and uh, I think described Stiller's numerals as the greatest numerals uh, you have ever seen. The thing about Electroset I found was that um, there was never really enough vowels um, to go round. Never enough E's. There was never enough E's. It was, uh, it was frustrating. There was also... Uh, you could never quite get them on straight. There was no. always a slight wonkiness. Yeah. You never get them on straight, could you? No, no. They looked yeah. good, though. They did, they good. did. Great, great for doing album covers when you were younger. Yes, yeah, brilliant. Mm -hmm.